Huh, beautiful. The only thing holding me together right now is this outfit. And the fact that we're about to watch people do some peekaboo slash underlayer coloring. They're gonna be coloring the underneath of their hair a different color. Let's check it out. Up first, we have Alex Herrera. Come on down, Alex, come on. This is what we're working with. Oh, it's long, it's luscious, and it's dark. Like, I'm so excited to dye my hair, but I've also never dyed it. We have a hair coloring virgin on our hands. I always wanted to dye my hair like a fun color, but I didn't want to commit to like my full head of hair. If I like don't want the color to be visible, I'll just like wear my hair down and it'll be like more subtle. I want to go for like a blue split dye. We're doing blue. I think blue would be great for her because she has the dark on top. She's gonna look really nice, gonna complement each other. I love a blue underneath moment. Also, just all around excited for her. This to be her first time and I hope it goes well. When people lighten their hair for the first time, it really does never go well. I don't know. I ended up using the Quick Blue Bleach, even though I've heard it's really bad for your hair. A 30 volume developer and the Ion Permanent Brights color in Sapphire and also a random L'Oreal color that I didn't even end up using. And then to tone my hair, I used the Wella Color Charm in 8A, which is like an ash or something. And then a 10 volume developer to go with it. Oh my God. Well, that was perfect. She's using a five, I don't know, N-A, I forget what she said. And 10 volume, which is a permanent color on the top of her hair to make it a little bit darker and a little more glossy. Great. She's using 30 volume and powder lightener for the underneath of her hair. Great. Except I don't think she has enough powder, but it's okay. It's not okay, but we'll see. And then after that, she's using Ion Brights, which is a dying printing color to dye her hair blue. Girl, that is perfect. Alexa, that is great. Okay, now I'm brushing out my hair. All right, now I needed to put my hair up. Oh my God, wait. My Alexa just went off when I said her name. People out there whose name is Alexa, can you just not have Alexa's in your house? Sorry, my mind's blown right now. Because like people will walk around your house being like, Alexa, Alexa, or like Alexa, come here. And the Alexa will always go off. I'm whispering so mine doesn't hear me, but that sucks. I'm so sorry, all you guys named Alexa. And then part the section that I actually wanted to dye and uh, apparently I used a pen. We're using a pen, the classic, to part the hair. Okay, now I'm mixing, mixing. Now here's the question. Is she gonna start with the roots or is she gonna start with the mids and ends? I hope the mids and ends. Ooh. She's starting with the mitts, yeah! Boo, 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 boo. We win today. One for Brad. Actually, it's two for Brad. Then I put a bag over my head and we wait. Then I waited for like 30 minutes to apply the bleach to the roots. Girl, where'd you get your hair knowledge from? Because it's f fire. Flamey, flyer, 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 flamey. Fire flames. I asked my mom to help me like apply the bleach to my roots right and to say the least, we were not in agreement. Mommy, you have to do it más ligerito, desgraciadamente. She's right. You do have to do it pretty quick. You don't want to let one section sit on for much longer than the other section. And that's actually a good point when it comes to lightning, guys. Don't start somewhere and then finish on the other side an hour and a half later or else you're gonna end up with all kinds of different colors in your head. It's really important to like time yourself. Make sure you're not slowing down by the end. Make sure you're not speeding up, do everything at a very good, timely manner and evenly over the entire head. Oh, but we got the roots on. Woo! Oh no, it did not split. <laughs> I look like a lab. Oh, it's orange. It's definitely not the shade that I needed it to be. <laughs> no. First of all, let's take a look. It is not. Let's dissect a little, a little further. Do you see that? Yes. Like she was just like, oh my God, I can't get close to the scalp. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you have to get really close to it. You need to cover the root. Mom, what happened? Get on that scalp. Damn it. Is it ready for another? We'll see. Okay, so the goal today is do everything, basically, because I have to bleach it, tone it, and then actually dye it blue. We're going in for another round of lightener, and I think that's a great idea, because guys, what happens if you put blue over yellow, you get green, and we don't want any green. We're looking for blue, not green. Thank you very much. I'm not leaving it on for like as long as I did last time, but also I'm gonna try to put it on my roots like sooner. That surprisingly need, needs more bleaching than the rest of it and also just like work quicker with the roots music to my ears that is a great plan what is that um <gasps> stop <laughs> just go quicker i think she just thought her hair was falling out and she's like fine like just just go quicker i don't even know if i'll make it 15 because it already looks like 
old. No, 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 it's okay. Just leave it on. Your hair might look a little like stringy and yeah, fucked up, but it's not. It's gonna be fine. You should leave it on for longer than 15, probably like 30, if you really wanted to get that bright pale yellow. Also, I still haven't thought about like how I'm gonna wash it out because clearly last time like, I didn't do it right. We got the roots on, we got everything going, and now we wait and see if we got the results we're looking for. Oh, wow. What? Do -do 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 -do. Time's up. I'm so glad she's also putting a bag over her hair. This is gonna help keep the heat in at her scalp and process the hair lighter, faster, and more evenly. Actually, not really, more evenly. If you it up, you it up. It's not gonna be more even if you put a bag over your head, unfortunately. I wish it were that easy. Anyways, I still feel like it's not as light as it could have been. And like, I'm still baffled that like why is it that I can't get my roots to be this like lighter? I mean, I know it's because I'm like not leaving it on and I'm probably not like putting on enough So we're just gonna do this toner thing. It looks good enough I think if the blue is dark enough except when the blue fades off you're probably gonna get green But it's fine green can be kind of cute sometimes except most people hate green in their hair So you might be screwed, but it's fine. It'll be fun next time You should probably leave it on your roots for a lot longer this is good enough to like call it a day. Oh, okay, so she's pre-toning before she does the blue, which is a step that she does not need to do. Some stylists do pre-toning. I don't do it. It's just not necessary from in my eyes. There's a lot of ways to do the same thing, but in my eyes, it's just a waste of time. We're finally though doing the blue and this is the make or break moment we've all been waiting for. Hold on to your Boobs. Coloring hair is so annoying. I wish it wasn't so fucking messy and crazy. I wanna cut my hair. Oh God, here we go with the haircut now. That was nothing. The heck? Couldn't just stop at the color. Just kidding, I love it. I love when you guys do the most. It's fun for me and for you. Do more next time. But I wanna see it dry. I wanna see this color. What does it look like? Okay, like it's really not anything amazing. It's just like barely the underneath. Like, I really like how the color turned out. I'm gonna insert more pictures so that you can see like in better lighting what it looks like. But it's cute. I'm really happy with it. I'm surprised that I'm like really happy with it. It's very anticlimactic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It is really cute, but it's so subtle. Damn it. Next time do like a do like a pink or a bright blue or like, I don't know, it's so dark. I want people to see it. It will fade out to green though. So you'll have a nice green underneath. It's cute, but f I want it more. Give me more next time. This video is by Miriam. I'm gonna bleach my hair today. I'm probably gonna have to do way more than one bleach because my hair is black. I dyed it black, so it's not gonna lift easily. Um, I did a streak test and it literally didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> so she said that she dyed her hair black. You're screwed. Second of all, she said she did a, a test strand and it didn't work at all. What are we gonna do? Now that nothing is working and she has black dye on her hair. We're gonna go for it, I'm sure. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyways. I left bleach in here for 50 minutes and it literally didn't hold at all. You did something wrong. Something went, went wrong there. And hopefully that will hold. If not, we're gonna come back another day and then re-bleach and then keep bleaching until it shows. I might damage my hair, but life's too short, so. Quick blue bleach packet. We're gonna put one of these packets in the bowl and then I'm gonna mix it with 30 volume developer and we'll see if that ends up working. Honestly, quick blue and 30 volume for black box dye, great idea. It's a very strong lightener, but it is very effective and and it will lighten the shit out of your hair. We should to make sure the consistency is nice and creamy or else it's gonna dry out and nothing's gonna happen like on that test strand she did. This is gonna do it for me and what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it to the bottom and then leave the roots untouched for about like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna take credit for teaching the entire world, <laughs> the world of amateur hairdressers that you're not supposed to do the roots first. Like I'm gonna take the credit for that. I know it, I know I did that. I know I did the damn thing. I'm gonna do that next cause those always die quicker. Thank you Brad Mondo. Ah, see, thank you Brad Mondo and you're welcome. I took the credit before you even gave it to me. Oh, we're using foils, we're getting fancy. I'm gonna wash this out after 50 minutes and hopefully it will hold it. We'll see, we'll, we'll see what'll happen. We're kind of starting to see a little change of color. So that gives me a little bit of hope. This actually looks very nicely done. I like the fact that they're using foils. I like the fact that they did the mids and ends first and then the roots later. And also like, I'm so happy they're putting the foil on the ends to heat them up and not at the root because we don't need any more heat at the root. We already have plenty, okay? And uh, I think this is gonna give her a pretty even result. Okay, so it's been about like 50 minutes and you can definitely tell that it is color changing. I really hope it helps. 
spoiled. I can't see anything here, so I'm gonna go wash it out now. But for reference, I took out some foils from the back. It definitely did lighten. Um, well, I can't really tell what the color will look like, so I'm gonna just have to wash it out and see. No, too soon. If your hair is as dark as hers, you gotta leave it on for like an hour. 45 minutes at least, probably an hour though. And even then you might have to do it again. I'm gonna try to show you guys my hair without my towel falling off, but I'm pleasantly surprised at how light it became. It's like kind of like a light brown color. Here's what my hair looks like after, you know, a couple days. She's still got her wave pattern intact, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Congrats. <laughs> it has lightened a lot and I'm really happy about that. So today we're gonna go in for the second bleach and see how that comes out. Session two was a little rough. I'm really hoping all my hair doesn't fall out because it feels like it. Okay, so I just washed out the second bleach. It looks hideous. Actually, so bad. We put the roots in way too early. <laughs> so I have two different shades of blonde in my hair. And I think my hair is like so damaged that it's not even really curling. So I'm really glad I only did half of it. This is after the second bleach and it looks horrible. Like look at my roots, that's actually disgusting. But I feel like my hair is sort of getting damaged. Sort of getting damaged? You just did it twice or three times yeah it's gonna we're gonna have a little damage going on but it looks fine i think this is a good enough place for you to stop in order to do um the pink so i don't think i want to bleach it again i just i'm gonna purple shampoo it and hopefully it'll even it out no the purple shampoo doesn't save lives you guys unfortunately the purple shampoo cannot solve our problems it cannot solve our relationship issues our uh, commitment issues it cannot solve our depression and it also it cannot solve our orange hair i'm gonna put it out there I'm going over it with pink and hopefully it'll come out nice yes i love pink hair pink is in I can... <laughs> what are you ah! Ooh, it's bright as hell i'll be back in a bit to see how that comes out oh i want to see the results i want to see the results come on come on come on okay just washed my hair got out did the whole routine but look at how well it held oh sh it's so cute, I love it. So you can definitely see how hot the hair is. Like it's hot pink, like really hot pink. Oh, that looks good. But anyways, I'm actually super happy with it, but this isn't wet, so I'm not gonna end the video here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like dry. Oh wait, this looks really good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Successful. Honestly, not mad. Look at it. Honestly, it died pretty evenly. That brightness is just amazing. So successful, even though we went through a lot. But honestly, it's really vibrant. I'm really happy about that. Oh, it is so pretty. I love. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It honestly, it wasn't the color I was going for. I was going to try and go for a peach pink, but the bleach is just killing my hair. So. Oh my God. This is so good. I stopped after the second one. I was going to go for a third one originally. I didn't want to damage it, but to be honest, like my curls held up pretty good so i'm not mad oh my god i love the color with her natural color it is just perfect it's so bright too that you can actually see it and it gives her such a beautiful pop of like boom it's like just a boom like a in your face i have pink hair but like not really because not all my hair is pink only the underneath you know what i mean it's so fun well those were some iconic underneath hair coloring moments i loved it they look great if you guys like check out my hair color line or my hair care line it is linked below for you at xmonohair.com and you can also check out my instagram and x Mono's Instagrams and every social platform ever and I, I made in the entire world. I'm on it right here. This is what it is. Brad Mono NYC. Check it out. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>